Let's take a look how we can work with CSS files in Vit projects. Right now there is no styles applied to our page. So let's go to main JavaScript file and try to import CSS file that we're going to create. We're gonna call a new file 3.css and place it inside of source assets folder. And here we'll just add some basic styles to see that our CSS will be applied. We're gonna make background color of body dark gray and text color white. And so let's see what Vite is going to do whenever it sees that we import CSS file. As we can see, styles have been applied right away to our page. And here is how it works. Whenever a browser makes a request to fetch this CSS file, Vite is going to process this CSS file and generate valid ECMAScript module that looks like this. So by doing the request to fetch that CSS file, we got valid ECMAScript module in a browser, and this code contains instructions to inject our CSS code onto the page. We also may notice in here that all those styles from CSS file have been assigned to the constant with CSS in the form of string. And then this string has been added to the style tag inside of the head element. So let's take a closer look at what kind of transformations are being applied whenever we import CSS file. Let's open up our inspector, and whenever we request CSS file from with server, it basically makes this transformation of CSS code into valid ECMAScript module. And this is how it makes it possible to directly import CSS files as valid ECMAScript modules. And here is one more way we can import CSS files. So by adding query parameter called inline to this import, we can get the content of this CSS file as a string into styles variable. And then let's see what is contained within this variable by printing it in a console. And when browser fetches our main JavaScript file, it sees this import, so it makes another request to the server to fetch CSS file. But Vit also sees that this request has query parameter called inline, and this is kind of a sign to Vit that instead of automatically injecting CSS styles onto the page, it should directly return content of this CSS file as a string. So in response, it's gonna generate valid ECMAScript module where standard expert will be exporting all the styles from the imported CSS module. And if we'll take a look at the console, sure enough, we're gonna see those styles as a string. So this is how Vit processes CSS files, and this is what transformation is gonna be applied in this case. All CSS code will be converted to a string, and this string will be exported as a default export from the generated ECMAScript module. And then in our JavaScript code, we can do with those styles anything we want. For example, let's create new element style. Let's assign those styles to inner text property. And then we're going to find a head element and append our newly created style element to the head. And this way, we're going to end up with the same result as if we would import CSS file in a normal way without using inline query parameter. As we can see, we just manually injected those styles inside of head element. Formatting of style tag will be a little bit different than here, but the end result will be the same. And this is how it handles CSS imports. Let's go back to main.js file, remove everything from here, and leave only import of CSS file. We're gonna continue working with CSS in Vit projects in the next lesson.